Hi everyone, this is Sunny for ESC Extra and today we will continue our reactions to S. De Laul songs. Today we will react to Coit Thomas' entry, We Could Have Been Beautiful. Before the video, don't forget to subscribe and press the notification bell so you will get notification on all our videos. But let's go and react to the song by Coit Tome. His voice sounds so soothing. It's like a warm hug. I think he has improved a lot since Verona. But I think it's really important to him to sing well on the live performance as well. Because this intro of the song is really quiet, instrumental voice. So it's really important to have a good live vocals. And I like that it's building up from very quiet intro to like more powerful chorus. And as I said, his voice sounds so beautiful and so different from Verona. I really like the beat, it feels like a heartbeat uh, on the song. As I said, it's really important to him to sing well on the live performance because this song it's so much about his vocals. That falsetto sounds amazing on the studio version, so let's see how it is on the live performance. I already mentioned this on other video, but I love the marching drums. And yeah, as expected, the last chorus is really powerful and really lifts the song up. I think this song could make a great entry for Estonia in 2021. As I said, his vocals are amazing. It's really different from Verona, so maybe people who expected something similar from Coit are disappointed, but I'm I'm really happy with it. And as I said, it would be really good to see this song representing Estonia in Rotterdam. I think it would do really well especially with the juries, if he nails the live vocals and if the performance is something um, different from just him singing and maybe playing piano or something. I think also the televoters will like it. Well, that is what I think and let's hear what uh, my colleagues at ESC Extra think about this song. Welcome back, Koitoma. Um, about the song, um, it's actually, I actually prefer it above uh, Verona. To be honest, um, the song is actually very decent. It's one of those kind of ballads I actually can appreciate. Um, his voice suits very well to the song, I think. And um, with the right staging, it could actually um, be a full total package that's ready for your vision. I don't know what it would do there, but I like it. I ain't gonna lie. Coit's uh, entry might be a little bit dated. Just a little bit. It's trying hard to be modern sounding, yes, but yeah, it's um, kind of 2008, kind of 2000, been there already. It's fine, um, not, definitely not his best he's given to e Easty Law, but uh, by no mean the worst song in Easty Law, it's just a little dated. So Koi Tome is back again, this time we could have been beautiful. And to be honest, I am pleasantly surprised. I think he has managed to come up with a good song. It's not the most original entry out there. It's just another powerful ballad, uh, pop ballad, and I really enjoy listening to it. I think he could be an outsider with this one if he can deliver it live, which I think he can. So yeah, a thumbs up for me. Thank you so much for watching this video, don't forget to subscribe and let us know what you think about Koi Thomas' song. The comment section is open for you to let your opinion hear. Thank you for watching and I'll see you next time.